if you're interested in what's in a film photographer's camera bag, I've got you. Might not be the standard for a lot of people, but let's see what I carry around in 2023. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk It Over. So first of all, the bag that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I'ma get it out of the frame though. I recently got this bag and it's definitely not a camera bag, but it fits the way that I need it to be. I'm always a little bit precise on things when I need to carry it with me every single day. So that's why I don't like a lot of bags, especially most of these standard camera bags. This is the North Face Basecamp tote bag. And what I really like about this bag is that it can be used as a tote bag, but also as a backpack. It has some compartments inside, but the thing that I don't like is that it doesn't close all the way which is pretty normal for a tote bag. But besides that, I think this is really all that I need at the moment. What is even more interesting is what I have inside of this bag. And all of these things I carry with me every single day, no exceptions. I've got this film case from Kodak, which you probably already have seen on this channel before, always holding five rolls of Portra 800. Then I've also got a couple of rolls of Ilford HP5, and because I'm shooting a new episode for my series called Run Along this weekend, I'm also carrying around a couple of rolls of Cinestill 800T. Subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss out on that. It's the first time for me shooting this film stock, so I'm pretty excited about it. Then we have got my flash cord, which is the Nikon SC28. I've had another one before, but it broke on me very quickly, so I decided to spend the extra money and get this one, which hasn't filled me yet. Haven't. Hasn't or haven't. Way more sturdy and a bit longer too. And with that comes the Leica SF20, which is a flash. This has been my go-to flash for the last couple of years now. Bibiche, Bibi. Raf, can't say anything bad about it really. It also looks very good on the black M6 if I don't want to shoot it with a flash cord. Then in the bigger compartment, I have my fanny pack ready at all times. I use this bag when I am shooting and I need a lot of things quickly. Then I put the film in it, some cleaning cloths and maybe a light meter. I use the Sakonic Flashmate which has been a great companion for over a lot of years. There's also a shutter release cable in here, which I almost never use, but I think it's better to be safe than sorry. And because of that, I'm also carrying around a couple of batteries for the flash and also for the Leica M6. Next to that, I have this little camera insert or just a little bag, which is a cheap one from Low Pro. This is where I put my second body if I don't need to shoot it right away. I've always got the lid open, so if I need it, I can just pull out the camera and shoot it. Then I've always got my GoPro with me with some spare batteries. I recently upgraded my Hero 8 to the 11, which I think will be a good thing for the run along episodes. Going to test this one out for the first time this weekend too. We will see if any of you guys will notice the difference. Then there's a small compartment where I carry my wallet slash card holder, my passport and some perfume. I've also got this anti-static cloth in it and that really covers what's inside of the bag. Besides that, I always wear my Apple Watch, which I decided to turn off all notifications because it started to make me crazy. And of course, I always got my iPhone with me, which is the 11 Pro Max, if I'm not mistaken. As I told you guys, there's a second body inside of the bag. And that means that I always, at any given time, wear one body around my neck. So I'm ready to shoot for whatever reason. Okay, not right now, but you get me. Both cameras got a thin leather strap on it. One a little bit longer than the other one so I can carry them both if I need it. 
And both cameras got the Voigtlander Ultron 35mm, one got the V1 and the other one got the V2. Same glass, just a little bit of a different build. Different focus tab too. And that's really what I carry with me all day. Might be changing up a bit through the year, but I think this is covering the most essential things for me. I've got links for the products that I mentioned in the description down below if you're interested. And with that, it's going to wrap up this episode. Let me know if you think that I'm carrying way too much or if there is anything you want to say about it, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'm going out to shoot. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and I'll see you next week. Peace.